and welcome. <clears throat> In this video, we are going to do a comparison of three new guitar picks that are available uh, through local music stores such as Guitar Center or online at locations like American Musical Supply, Sweetwater, etc. Okay, the three picks that we are going to compare. First, this is the Jim Dunlop celluloid pick. It's medium sized uh, and it is 0.88 millimeters in width. Um, <clears throat> the next one we're going to do is the EVH pick. It's a Tortex pick. It is exactly 1.14 millimeters, so it's a little thicker than the Jim Dunlop. And the last pick is the Ernie Ball Music Man Everlast pick. This one is also 0.8 millimeters like the Jim Dunlop. Okay, so let's start with the Jim Dunlop pick. And I'm going to play a couple of scale exercises uh, and uh, just uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so first things first, as you can hear in the background, I have a metronome going and I'm doing this metronome at 62 beats per minute, so nothing that fast. Okay, first pattern I'm going to do is a 16th note scale pattern. And I have my guitar, the Telecaster, here on the bridge pickup. Okay, here we go. Okay, so those were 16th notes. I was doing a G major scale, two octaves. I'm going to do it going down now. So here we go. Okay, now I'm going to play that in 30 second notes. <clears throat> here we go. One. Okay, now I've only been using these picks for about five days, and the 0.8 millimeter pick is close to the other picks I was using. I think the other ones I was using were Fender picks. Um, I think they were also a celluloid pick, maybe around a 0.9, something like that. So these ones are not that hard for me to adjust to. I think you could hear that I was able to control the pick going over those scale patterns right then and there. All right, so I'm gonna do one more pattern. And in this pattern, I'm going to do it 30 second notes and I'm going to mix up what I'm playing and I'll tell you why in just a sec. Okay, so I did two different patterns in that run. And the reason I did that is by changing what I'm playing, my fingers may lose um, their grip slightly on the pick. That one right there, I didn't lose any sort of grip on holding the pick. I was comfortable playing it. Now I'm going to play a chord pattern so that you can hear the Jim Dunlop pick over multiple strings at once. Now, the EVH Tortex pick, 1.14 millimeters, okay? It's very cool looking too, as you can see. All right, so 16th note scalar run. Okay. 
Okay, 30 second notes. Okay, I lost it on that one. That's a sign because it's a thicker pick that, you know, it's gonna take me a little bit longer to get used to it. Okay, now I'm gonna mix the patterns up. Here we go. Okay. Now we're gonna play that chord pattern. Here we go. All right, now the Ernie Ball Music Man Everlast 0.88 millimeter pick. Okay. Sixteenth <clears throat> note scalar run. Thirty second note scalar run. Okay. All right, mixing up the patterns. Okay, <clears throat> and now the chord pattern that we're going to play. So what did you think of those three picks? Honestly, I like them all for slightly different reasons. I would say that the Jim Dunlop 0.8 millimeter pick, the Ernie Ball Everlast also 0.8 millimeter pick um, are easy for me to adapt to just because I'm used to picks that are about that width and size, um, especially for faster, cleaner runs. The uh, EVH 1.14 millimeter pick I noticed playing this one that sometimes when I would do a passage where I needed a single note to ring out a little bit more, maybe have a little bit more depth in its sound, that that pick seemed to bring that out just a hair over the other two picks. So those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Please feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know. And thank you for watching my video.